I've not started this van for a month. So I changed the battery about three months ago because I went on, I'm still waiting on DVLA to get my um, to get my um, license back. Because for those that don't know, I had a seizure and you got a re have a, you get your license um, not taken off you, but it is technically, but it's it's not like a ban or anything. So you got to wait a year when you're seizure free, and I've been like 18 months seizure free, and I still not got my license back. So anyway, I put a new battery on uh, May, I think it was, and it just started up straight away. And um, <clears throat> my brother is holding the camera; he didn't want to be on, so we're just filming me in the van, really. But uh, my keys broke; I got to get that bloody fixed. So hopefully, my van's just going to start up. So let's have a look, right? It's all nice and clean because I come out and cleaned it all. It's not too bad for an old van. Obviously it's not a 1970s or a 50s VW. Here we go. That ain't bad, is it? It's got um, 290,500 miles on the clock. Just under half a tank of diesel. I can get back to Bristol on that. But yeah, that's good. I'm going to put it out of the field now and then we're going to set it up tomorrow. Sleep out in it tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to set up my new awning. My new second hand awning. And um, it's going to live the van life for the day and chill and do a bit on the computer. Because we've got electric up there as well. I haven't set any solar panels up or anything yet. So uh, I won't go into a chat too much because my brother's there look, probably looking at me thinking my arms are aching. So we'll see you in a bit. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Can you put the camera? Yeah, just under here is the hard standing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my van here, and I'm probably gonna put my awning right here. So gotta move this table, and it's uh, full of bird poo. Thanks. My brother is turning to a director. He keeps putting the camera on me. I'm not sure he knows what he thinks he's doing, but we'll let him off for this uh, video. So I'm going to camp here for the night, chill out. Hopefully my electric cable is long enough to reach the the socket, the the, the connection, connection, the connection. And I'm sitting in the back, and I forgot my Fire Stick, so I can't do my Wi-Fi thing with my TV. But I got my laptop, so as long as I got electric, I won't run me battery flat. I've got three batteries in this, by the way. So, um, but because it's been stood up for so long, the auxiliary batteries ain't going to be uh, tip top. Uh, so, uh, good, all good. Uh, good morning from sunny Wales. I am here at my sister-in-law's dad's unused farm. He's retired. Um, my brother lives here. They don't like uh, showing off their um, home for good reason. So I thought I'd show you my van. Give you an update for those that have been watching for a while. Um, for those that don't know, I had a seizure. I'm not allowed to drive. Five months ago, I was meant to be allowed to drive. And I'm now waiting for the DVLA to sort their shit out. And they're taking the piss. So, I've been buying bits and bobs for my van. I got it parked up at my bros. It's not a real main issue, you know. Most of my work is in and around Bristol. It's, it's, it's not hard. It's not the end of the world. So, 
On a positive note, I bought myself an awning. Well, yes, I. I got this awning from eBay. I, was, uh, 90, I think it was £92 with the postage. Uh, I looked it up, did some research. £350 they were new. I put it up yesterday. I, w I started to do a video, but then um, one of the neighbours came over and started chatting to me, and I was like, so anyway, it's up now. Uh, I need to finish it with, um, it could do with a, ra with a, a rail. Um, there's like a rail that this this bit slips into. Uh, goes along the edge, which I might get, but, but with the right tie downs and some long bungees, I don't really need it. The only thing I would notice about having a rail really is um, it's uh, keep the rain out if it comes down into that way. Um, but it's early August and luckily we had no rain, which is amazing because last week it was pouring down. So let's have a look inside. Um, ah, before we do, let's open the door so it's a bit lighter in there and I'll show you the back. Um, work in progress, this van. Work in progress. Got me solar panels here. Um, and uh, check this out. I've been building a kit. Uh, like I've been building like a stainless steel kit for like bushcrafting. And uh, I got that for two quid at a car boot. Look at it. Stainless steel, massive old school kettle. That'll look lovely with a bit of burnt patina on it, won't it? Paul, if you're watching this, it's mine's or mine's. Yes, baby. Right. So. I've got bits and bobs all over this van. Most of it's probably going to come out and I'm going to fix up and make it look tidier, tidier. Maybe connect some doors on here. So at the moment I've got some clothes. I've got some fire starting kit, as you can see. Big pot of Vaseline in, a, in your van. <laughs> uh, it's not just Vaseline, all right? All right, all right. Look, honest, there's a, some obviously well used bits and bobs there. The Vaseline's not well used. I mean, starting fires, yeah. Uh, so let's take you, let's, let's, let's have a swap angles. Let's have a look. Yeah, so let's have a swap angles through, shall we? Comes with really cheapo, uh, cheapo pegs, temp pegs, so I'll get some better ones. Um, and uh, let's go inside, take my shoes off. Oy. I broke a glass earlier, so I had to pull my little rug, picnic rug, in underneath there a bit, because I cleaned it out as best I could. But me, um, oh, show you. My cooker over there, the valve decided to break. The valve decided not to work anymore, so I thought, aha, ha, have a cunning plan. So I turned that on its side, put a tin can round right underneath it so it's flat and it, and it don't wobble, and uh, I just cook on that. I'm gonna order another, well, I've got to go inside here, a basin and a dual hob. So I might just use one of my little camping uh, burners as a backup. Because what, what do you really need, you know? Bit of meat, bit of veg and a frying pan. It's not the end of the world, is it? So I've got some bits and bobs in there. I'm going to get some new... New chairs, new ni nicer table. Got me. I'm going to get me drone out in a minute. I might add some of that to this. I might. I might not. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's my yeah, uh, that's my builder's unit that I adapted. It's actually, I'd say, it's a bit too much because I feel like I've been trapped. Sometimes it's like I'm not enough room. Um, we all know what that is. That used to be underneath there. I used to have a little fridge in there. But I got a proper, it wasn't, it was like one of them 240, 12 volt fridges that were um, electric ones that just killed your battery. So they're only no, any good on a campsite with uh, electric and then still they ain't that good. But my mate Chris, Mr. Grumpy gave it to me. So uh, what, what are you going to do? Say no when you ain't got nothing? So thank you very much, Chris. I, 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 I got a new compressor fridge now, which is a top loader, which I'm going to... Hopefully what I'm thinking away with this I'm gonna put a long unit down here and then I'm gonna sink my sink and my burner in there 
and then I'm gonna have a flip down lid so I can put like my TV and stuff. My TV's out there at the moment, look. So I can put my TV along down on the over there. I have a bit more work top room. And then put my fridge under there. Top loading fridge. And um I'm gonna fix that. I quite like that, it comes in handy. We'll put a bit of white batten on there. And I hide my fishing rods. Um here's my bed obviously. All, all homemade this stuff. This is IKEA stuff here, look. <laughs> Got that on there to stop the mattress slipping off. Base box. Um it's quite comfortable. It's an old futon mattress that I cut the end off. I need to trim some more. I think I need to trim about that much off because it's just hangs off. Um, got my captain's seat, which I wish I bought a more expensive one because I got to get a little cutter out to trim that up. Um, and uh, got my charging station. Check this out, right? This here, two outputs here, and two outputs here which go over and charge a little speaker and the tablet. And when, when I put that television on, right, on my back, it's uh, about four, four and a half hours, right, on my battery, uh, on um, my leisure battery, which has gone missing. My brother is in my brother's shed somewhere. Uh, so I got, I bought my solar panels, stick on the roof to, to like, um, we all like parking up and having a bit of TV on in the night time, don't we? What else you do? Sit there reading a book, bored out your face. I'm not a big reader. I can read all right. I just, uh, I just, uh, I get really, like, my concentration's really bad. And I guess that's ADHD. But anyway, um, so, um, I've got my blackout curtains into the, to air. And, uh, yeah, just that, that there is all netting. And it's folded down at the moment, as you can see, I can pull that right up for waterproofing. And it good. I likes it. I'm just chilling here and watching Hijack on my fire tab. Um, got some got some books here, like Kung Fu. Anyone into mindfulness? First aid? <laughs> English. <laughs> I got, I got, I haven't really like finished doing all this. Um, I don't like this now because I think it looks cheap and pikey, but anyway, sorry if you're a pikey and you're watching, not sorry. Um, who cares? Who gives a shit? Um, but yeah, roof's done, look. Walls are done, doors are done. Dude, cleaned up the front. That's my diesel eater there that I haven't fitted yet. It's got carpet in the front. Um, that's obviously my electric because I've got electric coming off of over there, but I haven't even used it yet. Um, just been using my tablet and me and me and me Bluetooth speaker. So I'm not going to get rid of that TV because um, because uh, I've got two big leisure batteries at home. That I'm going to put in here. Um, so what would be nice if I get another bracket um, and then I can put that out. Like if I'm doing some campsite camping, like I kind of am now. Well, I am on a campsite, it's just unused since the 1970s. Um, I'm going to, uh, I could put that in there and I can, like, watch a film on a proper TV. 26 inch full HD, that'd do, wouldn't it? Um, with big leisure batteries, I'll have enough, I'll have enough power to run my high power laptop for probably four days. Four days? No, no, maybe two days. <laughs> uh, but hopefully the solar panels keep them charged, so... Uh, but life life changing a bit for me. I uh, I was going to go full time van life, um, but I've actually got something possibly through the council now, so I might be moving into a flat. So I might not go full time van life. It was more of a necessity, more of a I have to, and also I want to be free. So we'll see how we get on in this flat. And if all I do is work and pay bills, I I I ain't got much time for that. I want to live, you know. Um, so spent the last, say, at least the last 40 years um, dying. So now I want to live. So hopefully we'll, we'll, uh, we'll it all, it all start soon when I get my license back. Um, or permission to drive. I haven't got my license neither. You had to send it off. Um, so and I just, they said to me they just need permission to drive. So I didn't have a go at my questioned them about why they're so unprofessional
pay for a service. You don't walk into a shop and pay 50 quid for something and then walk out and say, oh yeah, I don't mind, it's going to be delivered five, six months later. Not a problem. So, could go on a massive rant about DVLA, but this this was point. So thanks for watching. That's a little van update. And uh, see you soon. Bye. Pooh with a view. Yeah, baby.